Hi, in this movie we're going to talk about how we can access some quick layout buttons in Maya and also how we can do some quick layouts in Maya with the panel drop down. So right below my toolbox over here I have my quick layout button. So right now I'm on a single perspective view or actually on my camera view. I can go to a four view layout right from here. I can also go to an outliner and perspective right from here. I can go to a perspective slash graph editor so that's my perspective view and I have my graph editor so if I was doing some animation I could have the animation right over here in the perspective view and I could see my keyframes and all my curves right here I have another one which is my perspective hypergraph and my graph editor and I'm just gonna quickly open this image over here so this is what it looks like actually so if I was on a four view layout right now just because for the purposes of the video you can't see these four buttons so let me open this image again so this is what these four buttons would look like right at the bottom so these arrows if I would to if I were to click on these arrows I could change any view to whatever I want so these four buttons represent exactly what I see over here the four views so for example if I was on a single view layout and if I go to that little arrow right now over there you can see that I can change this to a tracks editor I can go back to that arrow right there and change it to a render view and I can go back to a perspective view another way to access some layouts in Maya is by going to the panel drop-down and Maya gives you layouts over here where you can change your layout style so I can say three panes split top so the top is split and here's the bottom and now I can make this view whatever I want so I can go to panels again panel and I can make this a render view and this one let's say I want it to be panels panel and I want it to be let's say an outliner there are some nice save layouts as well so if you go to any of the panel drop downs right here you can go to save layouts and let's say if I was working on hypershade render perspective let's say if I was texturing something so I have my objects I have my hypershade in Maya where I can assign color and texture to the objects and my render view right here 